In section 5.4 we're looking at closed systems and really what we need to know here is that a closed system is any system to or from which no energy is transferred. That's a closed system. So a closed system, no energy transferred across the boundary. No energy is transferred across the boundary. An isolated system, which we've seen many times, is no momentum is transferred across the boundary. Okay, so just take note of those two differences. So let's have a look here. Say now we have fuel burning and we've got the air and that is our system. Okay, so what we see here is that the fuel burns and it changes the system. It, it changes and the air changes. Now it heats up the air. Okay. So now this, I really recommend that you begin to understand how these, these energy bars work. We start off initially with a certain amount of chemical energy and a zero amount of thermal internal energy of the system. Then this burns away and we have a reduction of chemical internal energy and it gets converted into the increase or it gets converted into thermal energy. So we have a decrease of chemical energy and we have an increase of thermal energy. So as long as it's inside this system where no energy has, has been transferred uh, across the boundary, our total energy must remain the same. But the interesting thing here is, guys, is that there's been no change in kinetic energy. Okay? So it says because the system is closed, its energy remains constant, there must be a decrease in the chemical energy that compensates, compensates for an increase in thermal energy. However, there's been no change in motion. So just because the state changes, there's been a change in state, does not necessarily mean that there is a change in motion. Okay? Alright, so this is just an example of where the state does change, but it doesn't change the motion. It doesn't change the kinetic energy. Okay. Here's another example of how internal energy gets converted into kinetic energy. Here we have a car. It's at rest. V is zero. Then it has a certain amount of internal energy due to the chemical state, right? So there's a chemical state inside the, en the engine. So there is a certain amount of energy. It's got this potential, okay? And once you ignite it, I'm not going to go into the, all the details, that chemical internal energy gets converted into kinetic energy to allow the car to begin to move, okay? Nevertheless, this is a closed system and the chemical energy inside the, the gas, after explosion, it gets converted via the pistons, by, via the drive shaft to the wheels and so internal energy gets converted into kinetic energy.